Look at her in all her glory, boys. Our second Super Bowl ring. Season one ended with a Super Bowl ring. Season two ended at the wild card playoff. Season three ends with our second ring. And season four is yet to be determined, but we're gonna find out soon. The question on everyone's mind at the start of a new Wheel of Mutt season is who was the prestige player? And as I unveil this offense, you'll notice that nothing has changed. Our prestige player is not on offense. Now that being said, we take a look at defense and nothing has changed either. This probably isn't a shock to anyone. I did tease this a little bit. My prestige player was limited 90 overall, Harrison Butker. For the first time ever in Wheel of Mud history, we have a prestige kicker. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This might not have been as fun as the Gronk prestige, but I think this might have been one of the smartest prestiges I have ever made. Having Zen kicker for the rest of Wheel of Mud, slower kicking meter for all kicks over 45 yards, could be so unbelievably massive. Not to mention Mention, kickoffs won't be so horrible either. I, I actually think this was super important to do. The only other thing I really could have gone with in my head was Luke Keekley. I like the idea of going Luke Keekley. Lurk artist, great middle linebacker. But you know what scared me away from that? What scared me away from that is this dude right here. MAGA man himself, Donald Trump's long lost child. Nick Bosa still has a core elite. Was this, I mean, wasn't this the defensive player of the year last year? Am I missing something? Why is the defensive player of the year doing a whole lot of nothing? I mean, granted that Niners defense is so stacked and they're playing great so it doesn't really matter but why are you not getting a new card basically i'm scared because i whiffed on nick bosa i didn't want to pick up another defensive player like luke keekley and whiff on him too because is luke keekley really going to get another card i don't know but it doesn't matter if harrison butker gets another card he's got those abilities and they're amazing next up on the docket is determining our team for this wheel of Mutt season i'll be spinning the team's wheel whatever team it lands on will decide my jerseys my stadium and my head coach but most importantly it will determine determine my offensive and defensive playbooks. I don't know, man. I low-key want NFC since we've been all AFC so far. Philly! Oh my God. I've never used Eagles offense or defense, but I have to imagine their offense has a lot of QB run option plays or read options because of Jalen Hurts. Ooh, we are going to need a fast quarterback this season. You know the last time you guys saw this jersey? It was two years ago, Wheel of Mutt, when gold 74 overall Jalen Hurts was the most broken quarterback in the game and he led me to a Super Bowl. It was Jalen Hurts season all that season and the Eagles were supposed to suck. I'm excited to see these playbooks. It says Eagles offense offense vertical and their defense is an attacking 4-3. All right, boys, the team is ready to go. We got Nick Sirianni. My hope is that Eagles have eye formation. I have a strong feeling they have eye formation. They run the ball with DeAndre Swift so much in real life because if you remember last season, Cincinnati Bengals had no eye formation. I could not take advantage of Rob Gronkowski's vanguard, which is such an awesome ability. Hoping I can this year. But as you look at this team, we have an infinite amount of holes to fill. The entire offensive line, the entire backfield, which is horrifying. Two wide receivers. Defensively, it's every single linebacker, almost the entire secondary, and almost the entire D-line. There's one final thing before we start the game. When you win the Super Bowl, you get these special packs called trophy packs. I'm an absolute moron, and I opened them because I thought I was on a different account, and I'm supposed to get to open those for Wheel of Mud. It gives you three packs. They're honestly very good. I don't have access to them right now, so in its place, I'm gonna open three mystery packs. This is my reward for winning the Super Bowl. Hopefully, it can give us a few players just to kickstart this lineup, and then we can head into the episode. Season four is Philadelphia Eagles season. We'll start with the Star Elite Pack. That's amazing. I'm guaranteed. Nah, I shouldn't say that. No, I am. I'm guaranteed an upgrade. Hey, I said I want I formation. I said I want I formation. Alec Ingold, 86 Lucas Yang. That's solid. And a team of the week. Could be a budget beast. AJ Epinesa. Holy shit. Second mystery pack is a pro playmaker. This is a this is a lot of players. They're usually just golds, but it's a lot of players. Alan Lazard. Holy shit, let's go. Lazard, Ryan. And Kelly. My offensive line. Dude, I've got a right tackle, a right guard, a center. I got Alan Lazard at wide receiver. Got Demarcus Ware. Dude. Oh my God. Oh my God. Tillman. I. I guess I have a halfback. I think I've used him on double or nothing before. Jamin Davis. Mike. Oh my God. Let's go. This is huge. That's going to take my team to probably a 76 overall. And the third and final. All right. You know what? That Those first two packs were so good that I think I think I was due a gold plus player. It's a fucking elite. Oh my God. I'm correct. By the way, don't open that mystery pack. That is not worth 3,500 training. You're out of your mind if you think that. Like I, I would get those same pulls, except the mystery pack used to be 300 training. Alan Lazard season. It's Matt Breida season. Defensively, we got Jamin Davis. And then at left outside linebacker, dude, this Marcus Ware is really nice. 
Lawrence. At left end, we can put AJ Epinesa. Free safety. So I did pull Antoine Winfield. He's 5'9 with 82 speed, whereas Pat Tillman is 5'11 with 84 speed. I think we kind of got to go Tillman up there. Then as my corners, I can take Valentine out for Mike Hilton. And I could probably put Antoine Winfield at like CB3 or something. Just another reason why it's so important to actually win the Super Bowl. I would be looking at a 71 overall team right now, but instead we're a 77. Obviously, none of these guys are going to make my endgame team, but they're going to be super helpful right now. I think I'm most excited about Pat Tillman. I would love to get a pack a punch and get the full legend Pat Tillman. Hey, let's get it, boys! A clean slate, a zero and zero record, and our very first wheel spin of Wheel of Us season four. You know, we actually just did a Playmaker pack and we just got an elite in it. So I get to open pro Playmaker packs until I get one elite. Once I get an elite player, I get to keep the entire pack. No wonder, wait, that makes so much sense. I apologize, gentlemen. The reason the mystery pack is so much more expensive is because these packs are so much better. The pro Playmaker pack used to be eight gold players. And now it actually guarantees elite players. So really what this wheel spin is, is one pro Playmaker pack since I'm guaranteed an elite here. We get to keep everything in this though. Put him on left tackle. The team of the week player, Tank. Oh. Dude, Tank Dell has an insane card coming out for Blitz. Owusu Karamoa, he'll be a nice... He's a pass coverage outside linebacker. Yeah, he'll be nice. Get an unstoppable. I really gonna get an unstoppable. Xavier and Howard, none of these are my 81 plus elites yet. These were all the gold. Xavier and Howard, Tim Jenkins. My offensive line is like done. Definitely need corner help. Brian Cook, Jerry Sneed. Where do we even start here? Okay, so my new corner one is gonna be 84 prime time. Go to Sneed at corner two. I could either go Xavier Howard unstoppable, 6183 speed, or Brian Cook, 6183 speed. Then we're gonna go Xavier Howard. I'll put Brian Cook in, and then Tillman will actually be my Tillman could low-key be like my user. Slash my just my backup strong safe. This is perfect though, because right now with no middle linebackers, I have to user Derwin James. I'm gonna make Owusu Karamoa my middle linebacker. <coughs> God, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sick right now. Sick of these bitches. Ah, I hate women. All right, y'all. Second wheel spin. I don't have a quarterback. So anything that can give me an option here would be really, really, really important. Ooh, do I rock Money Manziel? I need a fast quarterback. There's actually, oh shit, oh shit. One of the best quarterbacks in the game is this Dan Marino, 92, but he's not fast. Also, I'm not gonna lie, one of my absolute favorite cards in this game right now is Aaron Donald Terminator. This card is so fucking good. Am I really about to get a D-tackle and rock a silver quarterback? There's Bijan Mustard would low-key be such a cool card, but dude, I think I have to take fucking Johnny Football. 91 throw on the run, 89 throw under pressure. So every AKA card has a special X factor. Johnny Football's is escape artist or run and gun. God, that would actually be fucking good, wouldn't it? Run and gun is one of my favorite abilities, but you never get to use escape artist. That's 2 AP already though. Gunslinger is super important. So there's another 2 AP. All right, boys, third and final wheel spin, bro. So far, this has been textbook, script written, S plus steer, wheel of mud. Can the third wheel spin? Oh my God, I'm about to be loaded with AKA play. A low AKA, but a jackpot. I still need help at the wide receiver position. I'm gonna go for OBJ. So Odell Beckham Jr. has got this 83 overall AKA. It is technically my second best wide receiver on this team though, so not bad. But most importantly, if I can score a touchdown with that 83 overall OBJ, I'll get this 90 overall OBJ. This is a nasty wide receiver card. They gave him really good stats. 94 jump. His spec catch is 93. He's got great route runs. He's really fast. This is a really good wide receiver. Would love to add him with Jamar Chase. I mean, I have two good wide receivers just looking for the third, but I got to score with it. So Alan Lazard's going to come out for OBJ. I definitely want to keep Tank Dell on this lineup in case I ever wheel spin onto a pack-a-punch. There are also pack-a-punch wheel spins on the rage quit wheel. So if I can get a rage quit, get a pack-a-punch, I can take Tank Dell up to his, I think he has a 90 overall blitz card. Regardless, let's get our abilities on. So on offense, double me Jamar Chase, Vanguard Rob Gronkowski, escape artist, gift wrapped gunslinger on Johnny Football, and that is all of offense. Defensively, the only player who can even garner an ability is Derwin James. And that's only two AP right now. So I'm going to load Derwin up like crazy until we get some other players. I'm also going to give him pick artists. I guess I'll give him Homer. <laughs> like, like I'm literally just clicking buttons because we have free AP on defense, but I'm cool with it. Final thing before our season opener here is the challenge wheel. Challenge wheel, get me one of any pack in the store or... It's such a tough challenge just because of my team right now. A defensive touchdown. Headed into our clean slate regular season. This is without a doubt the highest overall I have ever had going into game one. None of it matters if I fucking lose right now. Top three, Jamar Johnny Derwin. Jamar Johnny James. I go triple J. Yee, yee. 
Yikes. I'm so scared of that Aaron Donald. Okay, now the question is defensively. What do the Eagles have? What is 3-2 mug? Sure not necessarily. Oh, wow, I whiffed that. He's got the season four, or is it Madden season three? He's got the season three Barry Sanders. Got a pass here. Throws low on the left side, makes a nice juke. Play action? Oh no, it's definitely a run. Nice defense. Shit, I'm supposed to be on Derwin. I'm not on Derwin. Tell me why I'm liking this defense so much. Uh, can I keep up with this? Let's go! Damien Howard! A joke! Ah, no defensive touchdown, but that's a huge stop. All right, let's see what Eagles offense has. Is OBJ open? Normally, I'd say yes. What was actually open was anything over the middle. I don't know how I missed all of them. Second and 17. This leaves Jamar pretty open, who makes a really difficult catch. I got a skate artist. Holy shit, Johnny Football! I've never used the skate artist before right now. Matt Breida? Matt Breida! Oh my god, tell me why I'm getting 11 yards per play against this team. Get it into X. OBJ, get in the end zone, OBJ. OBJ, I need you in the end zone. Oh my god, dude, if I can get the OBJ touchdown right now, it's be huge. He's so open. OBJ? No! Oh, he's so fucking close. Oh, I needed a slightly better block out of whoever's over there. I'm just gonna walk this in, Mabrita. Hopefully. Jeez. The odds that I get a turnover again, I don't think are very high. I think he made a fluke, and I don't think he'll fluke again. I'm going in a true 4 3 here. Kara Mo is the user. Barry's going absolutely nowhere. Nick Bosa, TFL. I'm just a. I am. I'm kind of a liability downfield. I gotta bring Tillman down for the run. Oh, that's a run. I gotta make that tap. I'm gonna hop on Prime to try and add numbers here. Hey! Good catch. We're honestly close to that. Very close to that. We gotta switch. We gotta switch defenses. Play action. Play action. We're on this. If he throws, he throws the berry. I think he threw that over his fucking shoulder. On him! Fourth and goal timeout. Did we did we stuff the Browns? Are they gonna go for this? Great fucking defense. I'm so proud of y'all. Dude, I'm going back to the stretch alert bubble. I don't think he's on this. He's not. Oh, good block. Great block! Great joke! One more! Let's fucking go! I have an angle route out of Burita. Okay. He's not gonna cover the middle. Gonna go right to Gronk here. That was not the right throw. The right throw there was Jamar, but I'm gonna get that yards out of that. How much time's a spike gonna take? Eight seconds, one time out. This is gonna be the easiest read of my life. Either Jamar Chase is open for a touchdown or I am throwing the ball away. Second 10. Oh my God. Oh my God! Let's go! Oh my God, I cannot believe this shit. 10 to three in the season opener. Ball at half. I cannot believe we turned his ass over. We have momentum going into half and we get the ball. I would gladly settle for a field goal. Fuck. You can't audible and I can't time out anymore. Fuck! These are so good. Please catch it. Yes! Zach Coates! It's so there if he bites on the running back. He bites. I gotta go. Okay, serious clock burnt right there. Matt Breida is fighting his ass off. I love you, Breida. This is, dude, I'm not gonna lie though. This is exactly why the Gronk prestige was a good prestige. Because it didn't matter if we used him as a fullback or not. He was already a good tight end. Almost, whoa, whoa, whoa. I did not mean to keep that ball. I didn't even know that was a read option. Third and eight, this will probably be our last play of the drive. I'm perfectly fine settling for the field goal here. Oh my God, I might not have to. Oh. Yeah, I won't have the luxury of playing that safe if he scores really quickly, but the ball's ball's in his court right now. I'm up by 10. He gets the ball here. He has yet to get in the end zone. He wants to go full out like Barry Sanders assault. Oh, Tillman. Hell of a play, Pat Tillman. No. Okay. The dig's not there. He's going to go Vic. Oh my God. He almost just, he would have fallen. I mean, he's got to, he doesn't have clock. Okay. Nice slip screen. Derwin's over there. Big hit. Derwin's got unstoppable enforcer. It cannot be turned off. Enforcer crusher for the rest of the game. Huge. Get there. Hey, good hits. Tillman Sneed and Brian Cook all combined to drag that out of the sky. Second to 10. I think I need to send some heat. I haven't sent heat in a while. He goes play action. He doesn't have that. Derwin James. Defensive touchdown. How do I make this defense? Barry Sanders flagging my ass down. Damn it! Huge stop! Pierce conceded the game! That's all she wrote! Hey! Uh, remember when I 
said offense was gonna carry us. Defensive masterclass. This is a perfect example of how Wheel of Mutt rules can get really weird though. So I won the game, I get to keep my players. That's easy enough. My challenge wheel. I was robbed of the ability to complete the challenge wheel. Don't know that I would have done it, but he quit. Also, I was robbed of my ability to upgrade Odell Beckham Jr. Instead of spinning the rage quit wheel, I'm gonna upgrade OBJ. Basically trading in my rage quit wheel spin for my OBJ upgrade. And I'm gonna open one pack from the store for my challenge. So no rage quit wheel spin, but we get OBJ and I'm gonna take one pack here. This is such a unique scenario. I don't know if we'll ever run into this again, but actually, you know what to make it most fair? The one pack that I'll take is a mystery pack. So if it's a gold plus player, then that's karma for me scheming the system here. Our mystery pack is... All right, you know, max fantasy packs are, are kind of mid. I think this is truly fair. Max fantasy pack, Jermaine Johnson. Daniel Scott, you don't help us. You don't help us. You don't help us. Okay, so first round, no bueno. Second round's gotten a lead in it, Mitch. You don't help us either. We do have center. Edmonds, you don't help us. Rashawn Slater is an upgrade. Jelani Taivai is an upgrade. Okay. Dude, I cannot wait to explore this fucking Eagles playbook. That Eagles playbook has some really cool stuff in it. So Jelani Taivai will come in and back him in a linebacker. Jelani Taivai fucking sucks. He's got 73 speed. And then my D-tackles are really bad. I wonder if Jermaine Johnson is a better option here. Yeah, my current D-tackle is 49 speed, bro. Even if you like got past your blocker, you're not going to sack anybody. Put Jermaine Johnson in there. LBJ! 90 overall. Odell Beckham Jr. 200 thousand coins. You know, I can put double me on OBJ. You know what I got to do to it? I got to put this on OBJ. His double me X factor. And I got to take Vanguard off of Gronk because without I formation, I can't even use it. So the double me AKA wins aggressive catches versus single coverage. Amazing opener episode. I love you guys. Thanks for watching as always. Hopefully I'm less sick for the next one. And I'll, uh, I'll suck your dick. I'll deep throat the whole fucking thing. The entire shaft. I will.